So welcome everybody. I'm very happy to see such a good turnout today. I hope you will enjoy the program. We feel very honored that uh, um, our Professor Arabind Basu's son, Robert, is here with us today, and Mosumi, his assistant, and uh, they requested us to organize this program, and they wished, since Professor Basu was a philosopher, they wished there to be a philosophical talk, and they've invited our own Asta to give a short philosophical talk which I'm sure we'll all enjoy very much. And after that, we will have an opportunity for sharing. Those who knew uh, Arindamda, anybody who would like to say anything, we'll pass the microphone around for a sharing. But first, uh, we are going to show you a little film which uh, has been prepared here at Savitri Bhavan over the last couple of weeks. Um, together with materials provided by Robert and Musumi and what we found in our archives. Um, Tatiana has uh, prepared this little film which will give a kind of overview of Arindamda's life. So welcome to everybody. Enjoy. The next part of our program would be uh, to invite Asta to take the speaker's chair here and um, perhaps she has a few remarks to share about Arindamda and then tell us about her research. Being present on this occasion in Savitri Bhavan and I won't say remembering Arindamda because what we have just seen has given us a very living, palpable presence of his work, his life, and what he has given to all of us. I'd like to thank Shadavan and Robert for giving me this occasion to be here because uh, there are things I would like to share. Arindamda, when he used to visit the ashram, like was mentioned in this little documentary, used to visit my father, Dr. Indra Sen, who was, I think, in the same field as he was. And I was a very young student in the house, so I used to see him around and sit in one corner of the room while they conversed. I guess that is education to be present when these things happen. Much later, uh, at a time when I was studying as a more senior student at the Sorbonne, and he was still in Durham, he visited uh, Paris on a number of occasions, and I had the opportunity of sharing my work with him and discussing with him. When he returned to the ashram to live here, we had occasion on two counts. At one time, he was giving some classes on the life divine in the ashram, which I was very happy to be part of. And we had interacted with a number of other projects and works at the same time. Apart from these personal reminiscences, which I think have the place on an occasion like this, what has remained with me all my life is his absolute single-minded devotion and focus on Shobindu. It was an, it was something straight like that. Shobindu's existence, his work, written work, the living out of it was the one thing which was held his whole life together as one piece. I was very happy to see right now in the documentary the last bit where he says that the one thing to be done is to realize that